too much time at too hard of an academic school. Right. And I quit. It was the best choice I ever made because I had no chance of, of making it there as any kind of a starting player. So I, I now I look, and that has nothing to do with anything, but I have that much knowledge. Then I look at Mickey Loomis, who just built the Super Bowl winning New Orleans Saints, didn't play high school football. In my days in Dallas, Gil Brandt built the dynasty Dallas Cowboys of the 60s, 70s, and 80s. He didn't play any high school sport. So how does he know? How did he have any idea how to build that dynasty? Then I, I look across the board. We have a new wave in baseball and the NBA of these GMs who are computer heads. Who, who are Moneyball GMs. We have a whole bunch of them. Sam Presti in Oklahoma City, and we have countless in baseball. All the Ivy Leaguers now. Yeah, they're, I mean, they're everywhere. They Theo Epstein in Boston. They play. They're unathletic. We saw Lawrence Frank coach in New Orleans, I mean in uh, New Jersey, <laughs> didn't, didn't play the game. Am I right? Am, am I right? I think Jalen thinks and then, you're wrong. Okay, then on the flip side, let's look at the greatest player in the history of any sport, Michael is Jordan. It, is this a debate? <laughs> No, it's, it's no, I'm, I'm just making oh, okay. no, no, no. Wait a second. Was Michael Jordan the worst GM I've ever seen? Yes, he was. Which is typically what happens to the greater the player, the less perspective he usually has on okay. how to play. So that's a monologue. Yeah. Now tell Skip why he's wrong. Well, this is the thing. Um, there are people that have had success in our country that didn't graduate from high school, that didn't graduate from college. But you're not going to go tell kids to follow their lead because they're individual cases. For Bad example, analogy. For, for example, of somebody like Bill Gates, he didn't graduate from college, right? Okay, let's keep but, it in the but, sports but, context. But, but he's had tremendous amount of success in his life. But when I go talk to a bunch of high school kids, I'm not going to use him as an example because he's one of a kind. And I say all that to say this. The reason why when you say or you demean other people that's done it is because you don't understand or respect the time, energy, and effort that has gone into being a professional. It's more than just watching the 48 minutes of the game. It's the physical, the mental, the emotional. You can't determine what goes on in the foxhole if you've never been in the foxhole. And the reason why people get on your case about that is because you're insensitive a lot of times to the fact when you say, Oh, you know a whole heck of a lot about sitting. Well, I'd rather sit on the Phoenix Suns bench than wonder about how I'm going to pull a hamstring running on the treadmill, like you do every day. So that's the difference. And also, you have to be unbiased. We know if LeBron James goes out and scores 59 points in the first quarter and he misses the game winning shot, you're going to say, oh, he doesn't have the clutch gene. What players? Am I wrong about no, that? But this, but this is what. But this. Well, you're totally dismissing his 59 <laughs> points in the first. You always focus on the ugly pixel in the beautiful picture. And well, so I got another. 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 I got you will say you will take Brandon Marshall's character over Terrell Owens' character, and this, and this man mm -hmm. has tremendous off the court and off the field issues. Terrell Owens' issues have been on the field, but yet we know that you don't like T.O., so that you're going to take your opinion personally. Wait a second, if I is, spent time is, around T.O., yes, I do. Is, I know him, yes, I do. And, and, have and, you spent time and, around Terrell Owens? And, and, no. I, I spend time with Terrell Owens. I play basketball with Terrell okay, Owens well, I, all I the don't. time. I, see, that, that's another thing. You don't know. That, that's the whole issue. So you can't necessarily comment on things sometimes that you don't know, buddy. We love you, but... All right. I thought that would be a healthy debate. It was a nice try, but it was. I didn't get a chance to talk. You talked you had your bio for 30 minutes. And when you play high school basketball, that don't count. Okay. Please. I said, I said it was worth nothing. We're back at the debate desk in just a little bit. I'm glad you did that. Uh, we'll finish up third down. An ugly scene last night in a Baylor women's basketball game. We're going to dive into that straight ahead.